Good morning and, and welcome to the black and white messages. You, one of the seemingly scandalous behavior of Jesus is found in the story of raising Lazarus. And the Bible says Jesus loved Mary and Martha and Lazarus. And when he heard about Lazarus' illness, he delayed his journey to meet them for two more days. What? Jesus' love for this three kept him from going to heal. And as a result of his delay, this family went through the longest, the saddest week in their lives. He let Mary and Martha remain in their sadness, in their tears, in their confusion, and in their question. If Jesus would have been here, and why is he not here? Isn't that true for us also? For those of us who believe that God is loving, that he is kind, he is compassionate, and he is merciful, are often confronted with this dichotomy of, why is he not here when we go through illness, and divorce, and persecution, and opposition, and depression, and so on. I know that Jesus loves me. I know he promised never to leave me. I know he is all-powerful, but why am I still suffering? The story says, yet, because Jesus loved, he delayed. He loved them, therefore he stayed. Second, we see that Jesus wept. John eleven thirty five 35 says that the crowd recognized it immediately. When Jesus weeps at the tomb of Lazarus, they say, see how he loved him. This is important. The waiting love of Jesus doesn't mean that he's some kind of a, a sadist. No, he weeps with us. And when they communicated their grief to him and said, Lord, why were you not here? He doesn't scold them, but he shares with their sorrow. And after he waits and after he weeps, he tells them to roll away the stone and he commands Lazarus to come out of the tomb. And Lazarus comes out of the tomb alive and well. This love is scandalous, isn't it? The love, this love is counterintuitive and often it is confusing. But we know that this love is amazing and it surpasses all our knowledge and understanding. So Jesus shows not just that he cares for us, not just that he weeps with us and he sees our sorrow and he empathizes with us, not just that he can raise the dead, but he's also the resurrection and the life. And he works powerfully and mysteriously in our lives. So remember, God loves you and me. And because he loves you and me, he will wait. And you and I would go through seasons of suffering because he loves us. And he will weep with us. And he will, he will be in our sorrows because he loves us. And we will see unimaginable miracles happen. And he will right the wrongs and wipe away every tears because he loves us. And because he loves us, he will, he will raise you and me from the dead to spend eternity with him in heaven. Isn't that the most amazing part of our faith? I hope this message has been a blessing to you all. You have a wonderful week and God bless you. Amen.